It's very easy to add multiple contacts at once to your account through the Import Contacts tool. You can do that through the Quick Actions widget on your dashboard and also within the Contacts feature space and then simply choosing the Add Contacts option here. Specify the list that these contacts should be added to and if you want to add them into the autoresponder cycle associated with that list. And then in this example, we're going to show about importing contacts, which is where you'll upload a file, connect a service that you may have, or paste from a file. And so we can simply upload a file by dragging and dropping the correct file type that you can see specified here, and we see that we're ready for upload. Next, specify what we should do with the information, with, whether that's adding and updating contact information, adding only new, or updating some existing contacts. Specify that you have permission and then move on to the next step, which is where you'll be mapping the data. And so you can see automatically some of the data is already mapped. It always will recognize an email address. And if on your file you actually gave the columns names, if there was actually, you know, the first row within each column had a name, you know, you named the row, I should say, just like this then we can automatically map that data as well. So I had a file set up just like this, where I had a column of names, corresponding email addresses, then I had actually uh, gender information, and then phone numbers here. So because I had column names on my file, GetResponse automatically mapped the name for me, the email address, and it also recognized that I, I already have a custom field created in my account called gender. So because the, the column name in my file I called gender, it automatically mapped it. However, for this example, I didn't actually give the phone number column a column name. So you can see what it looks like. So basically, it gives you the option to assign a field. Or if you actually don't even need this information that was just on your file, you could skip it and not actually import it. If you don't already have an applicable custom field available for this particular data, then you could uh, create a new custom field. Or if you already actually have uh, something that would uh, work and that you already have a custom field created for this type of information, for example, I have a custom field called mobile phone, you could apply it there as well. So now all of my data is mapped and I can simply choose import. And now you've got some information that we are importing your contacts and we will let you know whenever the import is finished and it will just take a few moments. So you can close that and then we can see that actually this was quite quick because there's only four contacts here and they're actually already located in this list. They were just being updated. But you'll be able to see here within import statistics all of your imports, which lists they were added to, all the information about the list uh, data, and also the status of the import as well. This is where you're automatically brought to once your import is finished, so you'll be able to keep an eye on the status as well. And it's as easy as that to simply import your contacts and get a lot of those good contacts into a particular list that you want.